Hey everybody. So today, as you can see, we got some mass airflow sensors here. We got one from a 96 to 99 Taurus SHO. Has a little velocity stack, but then pretty much it straightens out and goes flat in. At the end here, we got ourselves a diameter of 79, 78 millimeters, something in there. I say 79 to 78 just because of, uh, you know, uh, discrepancies in the different rulers, tip measures I have here. This guy is a Mustang one. This is a PI. So I want to say that the PI was um, 99 or no, maybe it's 2000 to 2004. Either way, it's a Mustang GT with the PI 4.6. It's not the lower horsepower one. It's the higher horsepower GT. Um, so obviously there's a nicer velocity stack here. It's not so flattened out. And actually there's a very small difference between the diameter um, at the lowest point which drops down a little bit and I'll show you. Um, I've taken staples and made them fit dead in there to where there's only one little dot holding it up and so then I measured it and added one little staple on either end and I got 80 millimeters there and then this one we got 79 millimeters. So there's a one millimeter difference between the two at its uh, smallest point, um, which doesn't sound like much, but it is something. Anyways, the stock Mustang one has this bullshit right in the middle, um, which stops flow. So I went ahead and I cut the Mustang uh, mount out, and I cut the Taurus mount out, and I swapped them. So now we got the Taurus mount on the Mustang math housing and I smoothed it out real nice on the inside. I'm still gonna do some cleanup work, but I got a real nice smooth transition here. So, once I clean it up more and everything, I'm gonna end up with a little bit bigger of a uh, diameter right there, an inner diameter for the SHO that I'm doing um, than I had before. I put the Mustang Center in here just to show you what the Mustang one looks like stock. It's pretty silly because this uh, really impedes flow a lot. Whereas this one, uh, not so much. This does have ways to smooth it, but still, I don't care for the stock mass airflow on the Mustangs because of this design. But yeah, we fixed it up. I was just gonna bore this Taurus one out, as you can see, I started doing. But um, the plastic's really light and the design's not very smooth. So I figured why not just go to the Mustang one, which I already had. And again, the Mustang one, is a much better flow design than the SHO one from the factory. So, yeah. But, we haven't tested or anything yet. I gotta clean it up some more and then I'm gonna paint it, get rid of the nasty looking stuff on the top, make it look pretty, uh, you know, stock and everything. But yeah, so, stay tuned. We're gonna be doing a lot more on the uh, SHO build. We got some parts there for it, obviously. But uh, yeah, so Yamaha, Cosworth V8 SHO. Now it's going to also have a one millimeter better flowing mass airflow sensor. I'm not going crazy with this build, just uh, a little better. See what I can't get out of the stock motor. But yeah, follow, like, you know, subscribe. Go check me out on Instagram, Emistry Racing LLC. This is my daily driver, and I don't do a lot on this channel, uh, but I'm going to try to do a little bit more and. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, maybe I'll start posting every day on here. But yeah, that wraps it up for this one. This is my RSX turbo build I'm doing for a customer, but I won't get too deep into that. You guys have a good day or night, whatever it is for you. Thanks for watching.